Welcome to trying something new where we try things so that you don't have to. Unless they're really good and then you can go buy them yourself. Uh, we're still in the box from Turkey from universalyums.com. We're going to try this lush mosaic cookie and these Maniki orange and cocoa cookies. Um, but first, we want you viewers to settle a question for us. What? When I sing this, I sing it as Ding dong, the witch is dead, the wicked witch, the wicked witch. Ding dong, the wicked witch is dead. How do you sing it? Ding dong, the witch is dead. Witch, witch, the wicked witch. Ding dong, the wicked witch is dead. It's a witch. So, witch, witch, witch or wicked witch? That's how. That's that's how I knew it my whole life. Let let us know in the comments what you think it is. Without, don't Google it. Because when Google mom it. was like in that, not mom like. Didn't we see a play that was like with? Yeah, we saw like a. What are you talking we about? We saw like a play that was like. Wicked. No, no, I think it was at camp. I like saw it. I I hadn't gone to camp anymore, but like I saw them do it. And like before that, I had always thought it was, witch, witch, the wicked witch, not the. I feel like it's wrong now, but like that's how I always knew it. Alright, without Googling it, give us your answer in the comment section. Alright, uh, so we're gonna do these first, she said. Go ahead and open them. Orange and cocoa cookies topped with citrus and cocoa sprinkles. Woot! It actually says woot! <laughs> January and February are exciting months if you're a farmer on Turkey's Mediterranean coast. That's because all the way from Izmir to Hatay, it's time to collect the citrus harvest. Nearly 80% of the country's citrus fruits are grown on the Mediterranean coastline with its mild, moist winter that's perfect for oranges, lemons, and mandarins. So basically, each bite of these cocoa-sprinkled, orange-filled tartlets, tartlets, is like tasting Mediterranean sunshine. Close your eyes and take a bite. Feeling warm yet? It smells really good. And I can hear my stomach growling. Like it actually well, it made a very good. loud sound. So I, I've been to the Mediterranean Sea. I went to Athens, Greece, which is right on the water. I didn't I didn't get to dip my feet in though. Hmm, gum. Mmm. These are tasty. The inside it has like the same consistency as what's inside of Fig Newton, except it's orange instead of whatever whatever a Fig Newton is. Yeah, it's a it's a cookie with sugar almost like a sugar cookie. Filled with orange marmalade and then chocolate sprinkles on top. Chocolate shots. I mean, it's not filled with marmalade, it's just right on top, but... I call them shots now, I don't call them sprinkles anymore. How come? Because that's what they always call them in South Carolina. They don't call them sprinkles, they call them chocolate shots. So oh. that's just what I've started calling them, because I think it sounds way cooler. You know what's way cooler than that? What? When I was young, maybe five, six, seven, I took chocolate shots and I sprinkled them into my soup. And my friend walking by said, what are you doing? And I said, I'm eating, I'm eating chocolate ants. Because they look like chocolate ants floating around in my soup. Well, when I, work, I only eat this in South Carolina. Because it's like our signature food. That me and Alex created together that we only eat in South Carolina because it's tradition. We cannot eat it here, breaking the rules. It's 
toast with honey on it and well toast butter honey chocolate shots so good sounds good and i only eat it there also when i was your age younger than your age used to eat Bread and butter with jelly, and it would give me the wicked farts. I don't know the combination, butter and jelly, just. I used to have butter and jelly sandwiches all the time. Not all the time, but I used to not like peanut butter and jelly for some reason. So I started out with butter and jelly. You dropped off the peanut, huh? I don't know why I didn't like peanut butter. Oh, yeah, I liked peanut butter, but I didn't like peanut butter and jelly. You probably saw that we were all out of peanut butter, and you were like, oh, I'll just put butter because we don't have peanuts. No. Get it? <laughs> these. How would you like to rate these? We're eating these. It must be really good. I'm going to give it... I was going to go so far and say five. It'd be our first five of the box. Yes, she is. Why won't you give it a full five? These were in our grocery store, right? I wouldn't necessarily go and want them to, to buy them. Like, no. if I want a snack, I wouldn't go. I'm going to go get these cookies because I really, really love them. I'm I wouldn't say that. I'm surprised. All right, four and a half. I mean, I do really like them. Like, and well, I would have another bag of them, but like, if I went to the store, I wouldn't be like, I hope they have these here. The idea is, when we're all done with the subscription, is to go back through our pamphlets and buy all the five stars that we've given. Mm -hmm. And then compare all the five stars. You're saying you wouldn't want to try these against something else in that five star star order? Mm, sure. Okay. Is that yours or mine? Yours. Mine? I would like to try to have these again. And after the five star order, then we'll have to think of something else to rate. All right, trivia question. Quick, we're running out of time. Where the heck? Oh, okay. Um, it's been illegal to blank in Turkey since 1925. Play jump rope, eat pork more than once a week, wear a fed hat, or drive on the right side of the road. What was the first one? Play jump rope. I'm going to say eat pork more than once a week. No, it's wear a fez hat. Really? What's a fez hat? Uh, it's like a Shriner's hat. It's, uh, it's, you don't know what a Shriner is. Okay, it's a cone shape, usually made out of felt, or it's got felt on it. Cone shape, and then it's got a little tassel that comes off the top. That should be law everywhere. Those things <laughs> seem very ugly. And I think that's a good law. And it's just like protecting people. Because if someone do, wears that, like, do, I'm not going to want to talk to them. Do you want me to draw you one? No. Oh, I'm going to do it anyway. Why don't you read us our second trivia question? Okay. Um, in Istanbul, you can ride an inter... Intercontinental. Intercontinental. Intercontinental undersea railway, a real life replica of the Batmobile, a carriage drawn by pigs, or a supersonic commercial airplane. I'm sorry. One more time. Oh wait, I know those things. Like those things in Aladdin. Exactly. Abu. Okay, then that shouldn't be loud. Abu is. So cute. I love a boo. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. One more time. In Istanbul, you can ride 
an intercontinental undersea railway, a real-life replica of the Batmobile, a carriage drawn by pigs, or a supersonic commercial plane. Carriage drawn by pigs. No, it's an inter intercontinental undersea railway. Really? Interesting. All right, open that up, if you would. Where are we? Right there. Cocoa cream mosaic cookies featuring Turkish tahini, hazelnut, and cocoa. Oh, this is going to be good. Take a bite of this cookie and you'll taste a rich, smooth cocoa filling unlike any you've ever had before. And there are a few reasons for that. Tahini, a traditional Turkish paste of ground sesame seeds, adds a touch of earthiness. I don't know if I like sesame seeds that much. And that creamy nuttiness, that's hazelnut of which Turkey is the world's number one producer. The country accounts for 75% of the global supply. Mix these two Turkish specialties into rich chocolatey goodness, and you've got one extraordinary cookie, or four to be exact. Ah, oh, that's not what I was expecting. What's the picture show? The picture shows it filled with chocolate. I just filled. It's not very much, but... Mm -hmm. I, I get the nuttiness. That's not bad. Not as good as the other. I think it would be better with more chocolate filling. It would be better with a glass of milk. It's kind of dry. I'm glad there's only four of them. How would you like to rate these? I give it a three and a half, but it tastes good, but like, it could be better. Or three. Hmm. I'm, I'm willing to say four. Three and a half. All right, three and a half. It's not good enough to be a four. Three and a half is. If it didn't have the chocolate filling, it would be much lower. Anything else? Okay, don't forget to leave us those comments as to which song you think the word lyrics are. Which song? No. Tell us which lyrics are correct to the song. Until next time. Give us a like, give us a share, leave us that comment. And comma. Comment. Bye bye.